Hey crafty friends, Anat Kessler here with Saturday Mix Travaganza. Remember that amazing art journal or book or booklet or notebook that we created? Uh, you can check out the video from a few weeks back. And today I want to create something on it. Now this has, um, the pages are not very thick. So I don't want to use any wet mediums in this art journal. I just want to use dry mediums or what I call dry art journaling, which basically means pens and colored pencils and uh, you know, gluing down papers, but not using any paints or gesso or mists or sprays or th water or things like that. So today I'm creating an art page our journal page I like to call windows. What I'm basically doing is creating squares on the page with a black pen and then art journaling is all about your feelings right and things that you want to record and things that you want to feelings or things that you want to process or you know things like that so what I'm doing in this squares or windows is basically journal my thoughts and my emotions and my feelings and things that I'm thinking about and I want to put on paper so this is very personal page and everyone can create that page uh, it all depends how you feel or more more what you feel and you can just use words or images or drawings or patterns or whatever you or just colors whatever you feel comfortable with to express what you feel and what you think and of course it also happens to be um, related to the day because one day you can feel good and the other day you can feel not so good so whenever you create that art journal page it can look completely different depending on what you feel the same day or the same hour that you're creating this page so I'm just gonna put on some music and because there are, isn't so much to explain here it's not a technique it's just a way to pour your heart on a page and it's very therapeutic it's very relaxing and I really like doing that every once in a while I don't think you need to know how to draw because you can like I said you can use words or colors or patterns and just put whatever comes to your mind on the paper it's very freeing so I'm just gonna put some music and let you watch me do this um, art journal page basically what I'm doing is using a black pen to create my little windows to the soul and then I'm just going to add a little bit of color with some colored pencils um, which I have a lot of colors and I really like using them and very very mild colors um, not bright or bold just to add a little bit more happiness to the page because this is a good day and I feel really good so have fun creating and I hope you like this video
I just want to say a few words about using color pencils. Um, it's actually a very easy technique and it's a very easy thing to use. And what I like about it is that you can change the hue or the shade of the color that you're using simply by changing the pressure that you apply to the pencil. That means that the more pressure you apply once you color uh, your paper or your area, the bolder and the brighter the color will be. So this technique is really great for backgrounds and especially if you're using black pen like I do and then you want to add a little bit of color but you don't want it to cover whatever um, you written or drawn with your black pen. It's a great way to use color pencil because if you apply a little pressure and you don't press hard on the paper, then you get a really nice and um, light color in the background. And you can change it by pressing hard on the pencil or not pressing hard on the pencil and that would give you a lighter or bolder color. So this is basically what I'm doing here these colors are very bold and bright but since I'm not using a lot of pressure I can achieve that um, almost watercolor effect in the background and it's also very easy to create a gradual effect like if you want the color to start bold and then slowly and gradually become lighter and more in the background then you simply adjust and change the pressure that you apply on the pencil and um, it's very easy to work with and you almost feel like a little kid coloring remember that we used to be at least I used to love coloring books and even today there are coloring books for adults with very complicated and beautiful patterns because coloring is very freeing to the soul very relaxing and um, I really recommend that everyone tries to create at least one page like that it's so much fun and uh, you get to work with basically the basic supplies which is colored pencil and a black pen and then you can just create whatever you want you don't need too much uh, too many supplies and sophisticated materials and, and art stuff you just need a black pen and some colored pencils and then you create amazing art journal pages